Welcome to our daily prayers in what is now 2023. And may I wish you a very happy new year. Um, picture here is of a frosty roof. I'm not sure if it's frosty, it will be today, but it's beautiful actually how the frost accumulates on the roof. So let's begin our year as we pray together. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And we're going to continue this week with the Church of England uh, Reflections, uh, today by Bishop Rose Hudson Wilkin. In 1983, I drove to the airport in Montego Bay. In a couple of weeks, I was to be married. As I got closer to the airport, I realised that I was feeling anxious. My fiancé was due in on a flight. Ken and I had met at college in England. I had returned to live and work in Jamaica, so we'd been apart for a year. On arrival at the airport, I was met by a friend who invited me through some doors for a better view of the disembarking passengers. Soon there he was. He looked very different. With not seeing him for a long time, I was able to connect with why I was anxious. Would he be as I remembered him? Would I still feel the same way about him? Or he about me? Our Bible reading this morning is that famous verse taken from Revelation chapter 3. These are the words of the Holy One, the True One. Listen, I am standing at the door, knocking. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to you and eat with you and you with me. The writer of Revelation draws our attention to the important role played by the door in the Great Invitation. The door creates curiosity and an expectation of what is to come or what lies behind or beyond the door. Looking back, I'm grateful that I accepted the invitation to go through the door and get a little closer. Accepting the invitation allowed me to identify and own my anxieties. I'm delighted to share that we've been happily married for over 39 years. Our fears and anxieties can prevent us from taking the steps towards the door. Christ is at the door. Let us open the door and welcome him into our lives. What a feast of opportunity awaits us as we follow the star this Christmas time and New Year through the open door. And so as this year begins, Rose writes, I invite you to pause from all the hustle and bustle and picture your own hopes and dreams for 2023. In the stillness, perhaps we can hear the door being knocked. Let's get ready to open it. And so she prays, Dear God, thank you for being persistent in your knocking and for remaining at the door. May we find the courage to step outside our fears and open the door to your life of love. Amen. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so this year, 2023, 
and on from here, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and for evermore. Amen. <laughs>